and this is Peggy Reyes from the Branson International Film Festival. And I am here doing interview um, with Victoria. And how do you pronounce your last name so I don't mess it up? It's Hagni, like an Hagni. I. Okay, because mm -hmm. I would have said Hagni. Right, a lot of people. <laughs> yes, so that, yeah. Hack and I, and we had the honor of um, meeting you at our film festival this year, April of 2021, and I'm um, so excited to be able to catch up with you today yeah. and see um, just how you've been doing since then, uh, what projects you might have going forward, and just finding out a little bit about who is Victoria um so that we can let all of our audience know um you know who you are and what you're up to so i do have a little blurb um that i know about you is that you submitted a short film um kendall's dream um in 2019 and um could you just tell us a little bit about that story and then what inspired you for that story sure um well Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> it was really fun to actually meet you guys in person um, this April because you know everything happened with the pandemic, and then um, it was it was great to actually be in person after that. After that. So, um, so Kendall's Dream is is a short film about um, a little girl who stumbles into this enchanted world. Um, it's a, a fantasy film. And, um, and she discovers a harmful secret about it. And so it's a little bit of a Alice in Wonderland type of feel that I was going for. Um, but I, the topically, the, the film's really about the concept of beauty standards in our culture and sort of encouraging the viewer to critically think about how do we perceive beauty and can we challenge that narrative? So, so that's what the film's about. It's a very short film, but um, yeah, I, I think that it was actually inspired from a literal dream that I had, and it was such a such clear pictures in the dream that I had that, and I'm I'm a videographer by day, so I I was like, you know, I could easily put this into a film. And <laughs> as all filmmakers, they're like, oh yeah, this will be easy first time. And then you do it and you're like, this is why very few people are filmmakers. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so putting it together, I filmed it all in my hometown and casted all here. Um, and, and that's kind of how it came about. Awesome. So um, where did you submit that besides the Branson Film Festival? And how did you, how did it do? It did okay. Now, so this was my very first short film. Um, I had done some work in, in college, so I knew very little about the festival process. So I was just kind of going in blindly on film freeway, you know, submit, submit. I think it might work here. <laughs> Having no clue, you know, how the system works. Um, so it, I'm trying to remember, I have like a list of the other places that it got selected. A couple of like, indie like online places it got reviewed on an indie mag website um and then it also went to a film festival in vegas this past year um and was selected as a finalist for that so um so yeah i i think that's about the gist of it yeah so um i we did an interview um earlier um talking about that vegas film festival mm -hmm. and um i think that you actually went to that one i did yeah, well. yeah. uh-huh yeah that was that was a blast <laughs> Good. Know, but yeah it was that was the first like real like red carpet sort of experience I've had and getting to see your film on the big screen is a it's a really big moment like right just feels super like this is what I want to do type of right feeling. well good well and and hopefully it was received um well you yeah. know as it was with our festival as well and then you know kind of encourages you to um continue yeah. um with with that so um Tell us a little bit more about your creative work and what you're involved in right now, besides this, you know, um, Kendall's dream project. Like, what are you involved in right now? 
So I, I'm based out of Rolla, Missouri, which is a couple hours north of you guys. And um, I work full-time at a university. It's a science, technology, engineering type of university. So a lot of what I do is um, communicating highly technical information into sort of like layman's terms. <laughs> so so it's, a, it's a lot of like technical communicative work, but it's it's been helpful in, in me like learning the technical skills of what it takes to do filmmaking. Um, but with that, I recently started like a small business where I, it's kind of what I feel like my creative work in. And so with that, I want to continue to do like actual feature films. Um, but I, I do workshops right now for children and teens who want to learn storytelling, like digital storytelling. Here's like the principles of how to do it. And then we go out and shoot and, and they have a good time with it. It's, it's a, I'm trying to still gauge like how much is, how much is like too much learning right now and how much do they just want a camera and like let them loose. Um, but so that's, that's what I do with my, my small business. Um, and then I have another short that was finished this summer that's kind of going through the festival circuits right now. And then I'm hoping to get working on a, a hopefully a feature film in 2022. So. Awesome. Now, did you submit that to our festival uh, for next the, year? The, the one, one I, so the one I worked on this summer, uh, I did not just because I didn't know if it would fall within the parameters because I know you guys are a Christian film festival and so I wanted to respect that and I mean it's nothing it's nothing terrible <laughs> it's just yeah a little it pushes the boundaries a little bit on what like if it's a family friendly sort of audience yeah so yeah, yeah well we we can we can talk about that because you may be able to, to submit um because it doesn't have to be a Christian film it just okay. needs to be you know, no profanity, no nudity, and you know, yeah, yeah, right. So, so we may be able to see that. So, <laughs> of course, we would love to see you know the work that you're doing. So, yeah. um, so how would somebody contact you um, if they have children or teenagers who want to participate in your small business? Um, because you know, I have my own personal um, small business as well, and so I always try to support local um, yeah. and support small businesses. So tell us, tell us how we would find you um, in this small business that you offer. Yeah. Um, so my website is Ice Media Rala, um, ice like ice cube <laughs> and then media and then Rala like the town. Um, so icemediarala.com is where you can find all my work and my contact information, information about workshops. Um, I do a weekly newsletter for even I, I have adults on there who are just like they do a lot of DIY videos for their for their life coaching or for whatever it may be. So they they sometimes chime in and want to learn just like basics of video. Um, so that is something good to get involved with if you're interested in that. I'm just hopping on my newsletter. Um, but yeah, I would say check out my website, um, subscribe to that newsletter. And that's the, that's the best way to stay in contact. And, and I love to, you know, troubleshoot or answer any questions. If, um, you know, if you have a kid who, who's just dabbling in videos, like what can I, what can I help them with that kind of thing? I'm glad to answer emails, that kind of thing. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know, we want to um, support you as well. So, Thank you. and then, um, as far as film festivals go, um, the Branson Film Festival, was that your first festival that you had ever been to? No, I had gone to some in Phoenix uh, when I was a student. So those were okay. the first couple ones. Yeah, but I okay. think it was the first one, my own work. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so as far as Branson Film Festival goes and your um, first experience there, um, how can you tell us about, you know, uh, what things maybe you learned or things that were positive outcomes from being at the festival? Yeah. Um, so I, I actually, I got to meet Donna 
um, I'm trying to think of her last name. Jones. Donna Jones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that was really cool because um, they were just so gracious and, you know, they're eons ahead of me in the film world. <laughs> but I just, I so appreciated that there were filmmakers there who like cared about just, you know, other filmmakers and seeing them grow and um and just being generous in that way so so that was helpful um I I enjoyed the end I think the the last day there was a sort of like a seminar type thing um where all of us were together and I really like that of just getting to kind of hear where other people were at and um and sort of like troubleshooting like how can we overcome these things and um so that so that was really cool and also just coming from the faith background it was encouraging because I think a lot of times you don't have <laughs> feels like you don't have support anywhere <laughs> uh, you know like and so a lot of times if I'm trying to create a film it's like well where do I go to get funding where do I go to get investors all these things and if I'm making something that has sort of like, um, like Kendall's dream was more like of the Christian paradigm. And if, if you don't have support, like in the local churches, it's like, what do you do? Right. <laughs> you know? So it was just for me, like going there, it was like heartwarming in a way, because I was like, you know, there is support, like you can find support if you keep digging. And so I think that's one of the things like beginning filmmakers, need the most <laughs> is to know there's yes. support out there. Yes, so. for sure. And that's, you know, uh, our, our heart and our mission um, of the Branson Film Festival is, you know, everybody's in a different stage of yeah. their, their craft, you know, and uh, our goal is to educate and then also bring people together, like you said, that are in different levels and yeah. that connection that will maybe, you know, boost you forward, um, in your, your endeavors. Yeah. So that that's great that you had that positive experience. Um, and that it just lets us know that we're doing, you know, yeah. it's coming across, you know, right, what it right. is that we're trying to do. So, so yeah. that's great. Wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, Victoria, have you always lived in Missouri? Or were you born somewhere else and then transplanted here? Well, I get asked a lot what my nationality is, <laughs> which is really funny because I, I, I'm actually from Rala, but my mom has like Ukrainian and Italian in her. So that's why I sometimes don't look as American, I guess. <laughs> But I, I've, I've lived in Rolla most of my life. And then I, I also went to school in Phoenix. So, um, and lived in Kansas City and St. Louis. So a couple other places than Rolla, but right. mostly Rolla. All right. Yeah. Well, great. Well, we appreciate you um, coming and doing an interview with us today and uh, yeah. just letting us get to know you a little bit yeah. and um, about your projects going forward. And then if someone was interested in seeing Kendall's dream, how would they go about doing that? Yeah. So same thing. It would be Ice Media Rala. And then if you just click on portfolio, it will be under there. So Okay, great. Yeah. That's great. So if you haven't um, done that and you haven't seen Kendall's dream, I encourage you to go to um, Ice Media. Um, what was the rest of it? Ice, Ice Media, Media Rala. Rala. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ice Media Rala, R O L L A dot com, and um, find her information there and then be able to click on to um, Kendall's dream and see that. And just support. Um, local support um, Victoria in um, her endeavors as she goes through the years. And um, I look forward to seeing great things um, from you. Um, hopefully you'll submit uh, your projects through the film festival. 
Um, we would love to see those and, um, you know, love to see you again at our film festival as well. Um, April 2022 uh, will be our next one. It'll be our five year anniversary. Um, so we want to try and do some special things um, for that, for the five year anniversary. So again, thank you for your time today. And thank you everybody for listening to our interview and um, supporting Victoria and all that she does. Thank you ladies. Thank you. <laughs>